Welcome back to George Plays Darkest Dungeon. I know this will be a let's play. If so, it will be a really long one, and I know if it keeps up. But it's like Body Art. It's more of a let's look at of the game. I got the Summer Sale. But Body Art is actually quite a short game. It's like two, three hours long. I'm halfway through it in recording, so and I was like, need some variety, so. I'm gonna do Doctor Dungeon and record some uh, Overwatch uh, competitive today, so let's do this! I have yet to actually play this game ever, so click a letter to begin. Darkest, no, um, Jiraji Estate, I think it's what's going to be called. This music is really here, though. I think we're going to go to a tutorial now first. So if you do not know what Dark's Dungeon is, it basically is a roguelike RPG. You will arrive along the old road. Yeah. With some really in interesting features. Um, like you will have uh, something that's called stress, and when people have high stress by either their teammates dying or their enemies doing something that gives them more stress. They will like pass out, go insane, or even more. Okay, turning on music again. Damnably transcendent terrors. Hamlet. Stagecoach. Upgrade self vital to the long term health of your roster and your Hamlet. So you basically have this city and this uh and these dungeons where you can go in, which are really dark. So Something I'll explain later in the dungeon is has to do with fire down here or well the torch. Doting actually takes a bit. <laughs> I didn't. Ah, uh, but buddy, buddy. It takes so long. Oh! Space to. Fuck. <laughs> I don't want to know how long that was down there. Okay, so. um, You move forward by clicking on another room and you will go to the hallway. So. You see this here. So. This is the map of the level we're in now. So every single square in the hallway, something can happen which can lead to a random event. Um, and battle, or nothing at all. Brigands have run up these lanes. Keep to the side path. The hamlet. Is okay, the so hamlet. the torch up here, which um, well, when it's high, you uh, scout better. You see more ahead. And monsters, you can like jump up uh, on monsters and get a extra turn. However, the lower it is, the better loot you get. The but you get more stressed. You get you can scout uh, as good, and monsters can actually jump on you. So it's good to actually keep your torch high. Oh, we actually have a battle. So I actually do know how this game works, as I've watched enough LPs. So, combat is turn based on your hero's turn, click a skill icon and click on the highlighted target. So we have uh, Open Vein, which is a melee attack, it has an accuracy of 85, it does damage mod, I don't know what it is, it also 100% bleeds the opponent, so bleeding is a vital uh, thing because it debuffs the enemy with bleed, uh, which is a couple of damage over turn, so for our Crusader we have Smite, Zealous Accusation, Stunning Blow, and Bulwark of Faith, which increases the torch's light. That's actually really useful. But I think we can go with Zealous Accusation for another 3 damage and 2 damage of Poison or Bleed. So he attacks us for 4 damage. You can see the stress down here and the HP down here. So Crusader actually got. Oh! Okay, so he just used a move that's called Staggering Force, which, um, uh, um, 
changes around the order, so you can press this button to move uh, your party, but this is the open vein will kill him, so it's no need to do. You can actually get money, because when uh, the battle is over, we can just do that for free, normally it costs a turn. Let's go to the map. Oh, as you can see, we got into this, and we saw um, this crow I had, which is Curio, which is basically something you can explore. In this case, an interactive tent, so you can explore that. Uh, sometimes there's like items like holy water, a shovel, which can make it less, um, which can make it safe to explore. It has a chance of becoming like a trap. So let's go in. So we got a emerald, how fitting, and some gold. That's fine, that's fine. So money really is something you need in this game. Oh, so a battle. So, oh, we got surprise. So when you are surprised, your uh, party also shuffles. So we are going to actually keep this because my crusader can actually attack from both. So I'll use Zealous Accusation. For a four damage and a little bit of bleed. Like debuffs are really, really good in this game. Ooh, we actually dodge that. Like in normal games, if you apply like poisons, like uh, it will do like one damage over turn. How useful! But in this game, it's really useful. So I'll actually change them around and let you do a stunning blow. Do we get stunned? Nope. So, one thing that's also really uh, noteworthy is you can see the enemy stats. In this case, it's a human. The skills is punishment and point blank shot, which we dodged the previous time. But something really noteworthy is resistances. A debuff, he is now debuff, but he has a 50% chance to actually resist that. Um, his bleed resistance is zero, so every single bleed attack. Uh, hits Blight which is basically poison is 20% resistance, but stun is 50% resistance, which Yeah, you, you gotta keep that in mind like doing a stunning blow on a character with 59% um, Stun resistance might not be a good idea Just a melee attack right through the face Wow we are dodging, it's like 10 for uh, this guy. It's a penetrated shot. Well, oh, only hit that guy. Okay. I think when it kills, it penetrates, but not sure. So, let's go for some zealous accusation and kill the guy. Okay, so when most monsters die, they leave corpses. Corpses act as temporarily obstacles and will eventually go away on their own. You can attack the corpses to destroy them faster, but often a better approach is to use brain skills, push slash portal skills, and even corpse clearing special skills that some heroes possess. Monster kills with bleed, blight, or crits leave no corpses at all. So it's actually really useful to actually remove these corpses because the necromancers who can just Revive them up and you're gonna fight them all over again. So in this case, we'll just use penetrate the shot I just shoot him right in the face So a zealous accusation Should remove the no. Oh wow Anyways, um, I just do this and he died Give them no quarter. So a victory we get 13 uh, 13, uh, 1,300 gold and a citrin. Co yeah, so we could co uh, 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 we completed the quest. Thank you. Speech. After you have completed the requirement of a quest, you have two options to return to town at any time. Just click the crest. You don't need to return to the starting room of the dungeon. But there actually I click continue adventuring because there's a chest. However, it's a trap chest. So if we had a key or something, it would be safer. But now I'm gonna open it, and there's a chance to be a trap. Yep, it's trapped. Okay, so that would have blinded me, but uh, I actually don't know where to see this man. Oh, here. 
His blight gen uh, resist is 30%, so we actually got really lucky. So, quest complete. Welcome home, achievement get. Reach the estate. So I actually got quite a bit of cash, which is nice. Okay. So, leveling up in this game is interesting. So, when a character reaches a certain level, it won't go on easy quests anymore, because it's like, Phew, that's only for losers. So, it's really useful to keep um, a good or variety of uh, characters in your town. So, when they also level up, they can get a um, uh, like an ability like 20% more damage against humans. But they also can get a debuff, which is like... The gamble addict, so the only thing they will do for stress relief is gamble. Oh, fated. Chance to turn any miss into a hit. Not bad, and for him? Oh, the yips. 5% fi less accuracy, that's actually not great. But we can remove that later on in the game. I don't know if we keep these two. Because these were tutorials. Welcome home. Thanks. Such as it is. This squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands. They are yours now. And you are bound to them. Okay, so the quest goals. There are a lot of quests. Like a lot. <laughs> so Successfully complete your first foray into the ruins, so that's something we should look on. Okay, get help where you may. Yeah. So let's actually open up our book so you can like see what uh, terms mean or what the things do. Oh, I actually got to keep them. So if I'm right, you can give them names. So I'm actually gonna call. A cult called the Knight Jiraji. 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 You can actually dismiss him as well, but we don't need that. So, let's actually look at his stats because, or well, his quirks. They call him. He's a warrior of light, which does 10% more damage when he torches above 75. There's also like Warrior of Darkness, which does like 10% more damage when the torch is below 50 or something. He's God Fearing. In town will only pray for stress relief. Ooh. He's also a kleptomaniac, prone to stealing items. Ah. Oh wow, you can actually change. So like a green one. No, I'll take this. So camping skills is something we will get on later. But this goes for all the combat skills. So you can look um, at what places. Um, like you can enable skills and disable them. In this case, you can see where he prefers to stay, or uh, in a party of four. So, this one is behind, uh, third, second, and in front. He um, prefers to actually go in second or in front, and the only places he can hit then is the first and the second if he is in the front. So, also diseases. We don't have any diseases right now, but. So we also have our highwayman, I think. Yeah, apprentice highwayman with hard nogging. Oh, he he has an extra 15% of stun resistance, so it's actually for 55, not 30. Okay. He has also two SPD. I think that's special. Oh, speed. He also known to cheat. Is not allowed to gamble. Oh, that's that's tricky. So I'm actually gonna rename him to a fellow my. Gonna call him Naz. You know who you are, so. So, we have three things we can interact with right now. The graveyard where fallen heroes Most go. Will end up here, covered in the poison oh, achievement cap. Awaiting merciful oblivion. Can actually turn the music a bit higher in this game. Better. So, achievement get. Let's see. Oh, um, steam overlay. Why are you. Okay. A sobering visit with the departed. Visit the graveyard. Okay. We also have the ancestors' memories for you. Ancestors' memories. In time, memories. you will know the tragic extent of my failings. 
Oh wow, the amount of chapters. Hmm. Walls route. Uh, these are cutscenes, okay. We watch these. So finally Women and men, soldiers and outlaws. Shush! Fools and corpses. All will find their way to us now that the road is clear. Okay. So this is where we can recruit current uh, of characters. So we have a vessel and a plague doctor. Which a vessel is more like a healer and a plague doctor likes to um, fuck around more. So the plague doctor called Sigma has a uh, 3% quit a uh, crit range skills, but also has warrants phob phobi stress damage and warrants. Oh, that's that's bad. So he gets more stressed out when you're in a warren. So he also has um, plague grenade, blinding gas, battlefield medicine, and and bold vapors as attacks. He prefers to be in the last two spots. So let's go ahead and recruit him. Excited. Let's go ahead and recruit him. What and better the laboratory vessel. than the blood-soaked battlefield? The vessel. Um, it doesn't really care where she goes, but. She mostly, I mostly prefer her in the third slot. So I'm actually going to call her Curry. Also, that's a friend of mine. There is like one more friend, but I didn't want him to make him a plague doctor. So I want him uh, to be called Plague Knight because it's Shovel Knight. So robust, 50% disease resist. That's not bad. Guilty con <laughs> conscience, conscience. Wow, there's the cursing build of deeds real and imagined. No idea what it does, but let's go ahead and recruit him. Let's actually a sister of battle, pious and Thank unrelenting. You. Plague a knight after shovel knight. And yep, yeah, that's where we're going to leave off the first episode. Um, or well, the first let's look at. I'll probably record another episode uh, while we go into a real dungeon. <laughs> um, let me know if you enjoyed this game. If you do, then let me know, and I will certainly make some more episodes. This game can be pretty hectic and pretty sad. <laughs> Anyways, if you enjoyed, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. It really helps a lot, and I'll see you all next time. Georgie out.